What news of the Earthlings? Total high tech, sir. Indeed? How? Check out those Casio watches. That new Casio Pulse watch checks your pulse rate. Not bad for a Zog my age. Casio's new data bank watch remembers up to 50 phone numbers, dates, hey, whatever. Amazing. Yeah, they've got more new watches than you can shake a borb at. Splendid. I can always use another Casio. <laughs> they do a lot more than just tell time. Hello and welcome back to the Red Cassette. We're back on Tech Tuesday, and this time it's a revisit. Now, around three years ago, I made what is by far my most successful video. It's a video about Casio calculator watches. You may remember it if you've been around for a while, or indeed are a returning viewer from that video. Um, and basically, I'm cashing in because <laughs> it was a big hit. So, what are we going to do in this video? Well, I'm going to talk you through what the calculator watch market is like nowadays, specifically the Casio market, because I don't actually think there's anyone else that makes a calculator watch. However, my research didn't extend far beyond Casio, so feel free to do your own research. Prove me wrong in the comments section down below. Like, comment, subscribe. So first of all, where can you buy Casio calculator watches in the year 2022? Well. There are a few answers to that question, and they mostly depend on which country you're from. Um, I'm purely going to go off the UK because those, that's the easiest research I could do, you know. I can't really look at the US market because I don't live there and I'm not paying for a VPN. So, it's no longer available at Argos in the UK, which is where I bought both mine from. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore. They do still sell Calcio watches, just not a calculator editions which is a little bit of a shame, but there we are. So, what other major retailers stock Casio calculator watches? Well, you can get them on Amazon. Like everything, you can get them on Amazon. Um, they come on Prime, there's also quite a range of them on there. And it's actually the only place in the UK that you can still buy this cal calculator watch here, which is the DBC 6 11e which is the, they, they do it in a silver version and also a gold version for those who fancy being a bit blingy so there's also watch shop which is a uk watch retailer where you can only buy this version which is the uh, the the ca 53w um and also you can buy some of the more 90s looking ones which i didn't know down the uh, the code of because I'm not interested in 90s looking things, I'm only interested in the 80s. Japan, the effeminate futurists from the 80s. And then obviously there is Casio's own website which do stock um, in the UK this version of the watch um, and some of the other versions of the watch but again unfortunately they no longer seem to sell this version of the watch which is the DBC 611E on the Casio website anymore, in the UK anyway. I'm fairly sure they do still stock it on the Casio website in the United States because somehow I managed to get onto the US version of that website. So, in terms of pricing, what's happened? Well, as you know, the economy is a bit weird at the minute um, due to a, an ongoing event and prices have absolutely skyrocketed. So I bought um, this watch around six years ago for £15 and then I bought this watch here around three or four years ago for, it might even be longer than that, maybe five, um, for £25 from Argos. Both from Argos, obviously no longer stock either of the watches anymore, but those were the prices that they tended to go for elsewhere. The um, DVC 611E was actually sold at a discounted price, it was half price, it was supposed to be 50 so I did get quite a good deal there. But now you will be lucky if you can buy one for less than £75. They are very, very expensive all of a sudden. And for the, um, for the CA53W, which is the black one, <laughs> you'd be lucky to find one for less than £30. Um, those are pounds sterling. Um, I'll put equivalent um, in the in the bottom here. However, there was one 90s model or 90s looking model that I did look at um, around five years ago, and I have looked at again. It was the DBC 32D, 
and that one seems to have stayed pretty much the same. I think the 90s looking models are less popular purely because they're not very aesthetically pre pleasing. They're a bit curvy and a bit meh. So I don't think they're as popular so the prices have stayed fairly low and also they are quite easy to get a hold of as well. So in terms of new versions of any uh, calculator watches or re-releases, um, the only one I could really tell is that they've re-released this one which is the CA53W. They've re-released it in a few different colours like red and well more burgundy and blue and like khaki green and grey. They've got a bit of a weird LCD on them as well and the actual face of the watch is a little bit different in terms of like the writing. It only says Casio and things on it. It doesn't have like water resistant and things. It is basically the same watch and they do have similar serial numbers. Um, they've just got like a few added letters to, de to denote the different colours and that's about it. And they tend to be around £40 as well. And the uh, red burgundy one is certainly one that I would look at getting had I not already got two. And if they were priced in a, in a decent ballpark for a student. So, how am I getting on with my two 1980s calculator watches that were re-released for the 2010s? Well, I can tell you that I'm getting on fairly well with them. Now, coming up for six years, seven years of use with the, uh, with the CA53W, I've never had to change the battery in it. It's got a bit mucky in that time. I think I did food tech in it at school once in year nine. That's how long I've had this. I'm now a second year university student and I'm fairly sure I used this in the third year of secondary school. So that might actually be about seven or eight years. But yeah, it's never had a battery change. And I got it out of the cupboard that I keep it in because this isn't the one I use very often. It tends to be the one I use for exams purely because you can't store anything in it. And I'm always scared that if I take this one in, the exam board will kick me out, um, or the university now, of course. So since the last time I used it, which is probably three years, it had gained three minutes. So in terms of keeping time, it's quite good. You know, to gain three minutes in two years isn't bad at all. I'm fairly sure that's better than it's actually rated for, um, which was very pleasing to see. I did adjust it, and it was an hour out because obviously the clocks have changed since then. Um, and... Yeah, generally very impressed with how well it keeps time. And the same goes for this one. I barely ever have to adjust it. Um, I mean, it's the one I use every day, so the differences aren't as visible. I don't see it moving slightly. But generally, again, it does much better than it's rated to. And they're both quite good watches, really, for keeping time. So the only real issue I have had in the few years using this watch in particular is that the plastic has cracked around where the metal strap and the plastic body meat, which was a little bit annoying. I did manage to keep hold of the fragments and I managed to glue them all together. Uh, and another point is the, the body is actually plastic. The back is stainless steel, but the body of the watch is plastic. So it does snap occasionally if you're not careful. Um, and it has sort of, the silver has rubbed off slightly and has become rather scratched and scuffed. And now it's a little bit coppery, almost as if there's a copper undercolor. Um, which is starting to show through, but again, they're not real issues. I mean, it's character, it's an old watch, it still works, um, and to be honest, it's not really noticeable from a distance, so that's not too much of a bad thing. So they're generally the only real gripes I've had with that particular watch, and the, um, the CA53W I've never had any problems with. It's been a great servant, really. Um, very much enjoyed using it over the years. So yeah, that's pretty much this video over and done with. I think this is quite short for me. I hope it's quite short for me. But thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe and check out the original video that I made on Casio calculator watches when I had really bad hair and slight acne. But after all that, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Ta-ra!